Your presentation was bad. You are not good in public speaking, so don't do it. Ah, oh, you just can never help me. <gasps> do you feel sometimes attacked? And do you take things personal? How can you avoid that? That's what this video is all about. I'm so happy that you found my channel to create the life that you desire. So make sure you hit that red little button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos to help you create the life that you desire. So critique and negativity and criticism, we often take it personal. We feel attacked and it's like, you think that? Well, then I'm just going to not do it and I'm just going to tell you and you just fight back, right? But you don't have to. By the end of this video, I want you to know how to deal with that criticism, how to not take it personal and how to reply in a better way so that you feel good about that. And I help a lot of my clients with this because they feel attacked and they feel like, a failure and not good enough because this person said that and that person said that, but really, why are you taking it personal? Okay, so let's talk about that. Let's dive right in and then it's your turn to put it into practice. Why are we taking it personal? Why do we feel attacked when somebody gives us critique? If there's one thing I want you to remember, is that negative feedback or criticism that people give you, it's not about you, it's about them. But your reaction is about you. I'll repeat, their critique or attack, it's not about you, it's about them. But your reaction is about you. So you react, if you feel attacked, then it means you're taking it personal. And what's the first thing you do? You defend yourself, right? Oh, that's not true. And I, and I didn't do that. And, and I can do that. And I'm better. And, 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 and no one. And, and you, just, you just get into this defensive mode. It's because you take it personal. But think about it. Is the negative feedback or the critique, is it really about you? No. Most of the time, it's not about you at all. It's about them. All right. So whenever you get a critique, you're not good enough and you don't look good in that. And I asked you to do that and you never helped me. And whatever it is at work, at home, a kid that doesn't want to go to bed, you know, you're a bad mama. Are you a bad mama? No, you're not. It's just a kid who's just upset and doesn't want to go to bed. Oh, I asked you to take the laundry and you never do it. Are you a bad person? No, <laughs> no, of course not. So here are tips to help you deal with criticism and negative feedback. Okay, first of all, breathe. Breathe. Stay calm. Stay calm. Because the moment you react within that split second and you just get defensive and you react the way they talk to you, it's just going to boil up and boil up and get into a discussion and a fight and you don't want to be there. You don't want, want to be that person. So breathe. And then first of all, check who is giving you that critique. Who is that source of the critique? Is it someone who's just always negative? <laughs> is it someone that really matters to you? Is it some loved one or somebody very close to you? Is it your boss? Is it, is, it gen is it somebody who wants the best out of you? Or is it... Just check how valid is the source of that critique. How valid is it? Who is that person? Should you really take it personal? Should you really put a lot of eff you know, attention to that critique? So evaluate the source. Where is this critique coming from? How important is it? Always breathe. Always stay calm. Take a moment and then try to summarize it. Because very often we also misunderstand. We feel attacked and then we react. So summarize like, oh, 
So you're saying that my presentation is bad or are you saying that I can change a few things? Especially between cultures sometimes there's a lot of misunderstanding that where you take it bad, but it doesn't mean bad. So you summarize it. Oh, so you mean I didn't do it well because what? And then you kind of try to understand what are they really saying, okay? And then you show empathy, you show understanding, you rephrase it, or you say how you feel. Instead of indicating and pointing at somebody like, oh, you this and you that, why don't you put it on you and say, look, I feel upset, I feel hurt, I feel I don't deserve that critique. Just say how you feel. There's nothing wrong with voicing how you feel, but if you attack back, you will like, you, you, you. No, put it on you. Say, I feel I'm a bad person because you said that. I feel I'm a bad employee because I'm not good in public speaking. I feel, okay? And then you suggest, okay, would it be better if I change the colors? Would it be better if I talk to a smaller group of people? Would you agree you give a proposal, right? Just one thing which is really, really important in this video is do not take it personal. You will attack back and you will go into defense mode if you take it personal. But if somebody has a critique, it's not about you. It's not because you did something different that you're a bad person. It doesn't mean you're a failure. It doesn't mean you're not good enough. It doesn't mean any of that. All right? So don't take things personal. Don't go into the defense mode. I want you to comment below. What was your biggest takeaway from this video? Are you gonna stop going into defense and attack? And don't take it personal. Evaluate. Check the source, see how true it is, all right? So comment below, what was your biggest takeaway? And remember to subscribe to my channel and find more videos to create the life that you desire right below this video. I will see you in the next video.